Okay, so hello, back again, online interview iChat number three. Three. That wasn't in the frame. Okay. Would I recommend acting as a career to someone interested in the arts? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's like the best job in the world if you're working. Um, dot, 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 if you're working. Um, I think it's really important to absolutely be completely infatuated with the art of acting um, if you're going to throw yourself into the industry because the industry is brutal. And if you don't love what you do, it will tear you apart. Um, so if you love it and you can't see yourself doing anything else and this is absolutely the one thing that you are so joyful with, um, joyful while you're doing it, yeah, there we go, um, do it, absolutely. But make sure that you understand what it is that you're getting into and why you're doing it before you do it. Because if you're just about getting famous, there's lots of other ways to get famous. Paris Hilton has exemplified that. Um, Sarah Renner wants to know, uh, who are my role models and who do I look for for inspiration? Um, that's such a great question. I think I look to everyone for inspiration. I think I find inspiration from people around me all the time. Someone that I'm constantly inspired by is Kristen Kruk. I think she's an unbelievable person and um, just a really amazing soul. And I'm always inspired by her and the way that she behaves in the world and the things that she upholds in herself and in other people. I think it's really amazing. Um, acting wise, someone that inspires me is Kate Blanchett. Elizabeth, The Golden Years is coming out soon. Everybody go and see it because I'm sure it's amazing. Um, and Kate Winslet are two people. Kate Winslet and Kate Blanchett, both British, um, both Kates. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think they're incredible and I'm constantly inspired by their work and what they do and what they produce. So uh, those are two people that I'm very, very inspired by. Um, is there any kind of movie or TV show that I wouldn't do? Any kind of role that I would turn down? If so, what kind and why? Um, I think that that question's very um, uh, specific. Like, I think it's situational. I don't know if I could say, like, there's one blanket statement kind of character or film that I would or wouldn't do. I, I, wouldn't, I couldn't see myself in a porno. Um, and I tend to stay away from slasher horror movies. Um, but that being said, if somebody offered me something like uh, Silence of the Lambs or something like that, I'm not going to turn it down because that's an amazing script. So I really think that it depends on where I am in my life, what the kind of character is, and what the film is. And then I kind of gauge it on that. I don't like to play stupid women. And I don't like to play women that are essentially just objects in the movie. Um, I usually like to play women that have some semblance of substance and history and purpose. Um, but other than that, I'm really fair game. If the story's good and the writing's good, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. So, um, do you want to tip this word? Sorry, shooting up my nose. Um, <laughs> am I a Harry Potter fan? Yeah, I'm totally a Harry Potter fan. I stopped reading the books when I was like, I think when, uh, around like the fourth book I stopped reading, just because I had other things that I kind of wanted to read and I was, I got really distracted, but but I do love Harry Potter, and I'd like to get back to him. And this asks me who my favorite character is. I think my favorite character would probably be uh, Hermione, because I identify with her like crazy. And she's actually quite a bit like the character that I play on TV. Um, who is my fa what's my favorite book, and who's my favorite author? That answer is twofold. I love um, Tom Robbins. If anybody has not read Tom Robbins, read Tom Robbins. He's unbelievable, like one of my all-time top, top ten favorite authors like I just think he's amazing um, and my favorite book that he wrote is Jitterbug Perfume although he has a book of short stories and poems that he wrote that's called Wild Ducks Flying Backwards that's also outstanding highly recommend that um, and the second one is John Irving I love John Irving and I love what he writes um, and the book of his that I've read more than once is um, A Prayer for Owen Meany it's an amazing book it's very profound he wrote it quite a long time ago and the things that he writes about pertain so directly to today it's amazing and um, it's just beautiful beautiful and other than that I love like I love Rumi I love E.E. E. Cummings I love Pablo Neruda those the poets I'm a huge fan of and I'm constantly picking up and reading their stuff um, recently I've been reading a lot of um, Miranda July who's a performance artist and a short story writer and a poet and I have a book of her uh, short stories that I that I love that I've been reading a lot of and um, yeah, I like short stories. Um, I think because my attention span is only so long. <laughs> so I like short stories and poetry. Uh, 
who has in the most who has had the most impact on my life and my career? My mom, for sure. My mom is like my number one fan and number one supporter and I pattern everything after her and she gave me life and she's awesome. So she's definitely had the most impact on my life and my career. If I wasn't an actress, what would I be? I ask myself that all the time. All the time. Because I think the only thing I've ever been is an actress. And so the concept of doing anything else is really strange because I feel like I wouldn't be me. Um, but I think that I, I think I would have gone into dance. There was a definite fork in the road where I had to choose either acting or dancing because I was too busy to do both, and I chose acting. Um, so if I hadn't chose acting, I would have gone into dance and been a dancer. But I also love anything having to do with people, working with people, being out with people, anything in the arts with people. I've, I've definitely looked into going into a school for art history or curating, things like that, um, gallery owner, stuff like that. Um, but they're all theory because I haven't actually put the effort into building myself in any of those places. So as it stands right now, I'm an actress through and through. But if I was to fantasize about it, I don't know, something in the arts having to do with people. Um, with regard to my acting career, on, ba on what basis did I decide, do I decide to commit to projects? Or would you ever consider appearing in a play or stage show either on Broadway or in the West End? Um, the basis I d of committing to projects is just the project. If it's a good project, I'll commit. If it's not, then I won't. Um, as far as doing a stage show, I would, that would be a dream. I would love to do a stage show on Broadway or in the West End or um, LA or San Francisco or Chicago, I mean wherever. If somebody has a good play for me to do, then I'll do it. Um, next question. What is my escape from my daily stress? Movies. I like to go and sit in a movie theater. And when I'm really stressed out, I go and sit in two or three movie theaters in a row and really just kind of disappear from reality for a little while. Or at least that's what it feels like I'm doing. Um, all my fans admire me for my good example as a young female acting star. Would you attribute the reason on how you managed to stay out of what do I attribute to the reason on how I've managed to stay out of the negative spotlight? I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> the negative stuff that I do. So I stay out of the negative spotlight, A, probably because I don't go to the places where the paparazzi hang out outside, and B, because uh, I don't think I'm the type of actress that people are interested in following around. All the characters that I've ever played have been very real, and there hasn't been anything sort of super or wild or glamorous about them. And so I think that that's kept my fans very real which I appreciate, and it's allowed me to stay very real. So I don't think anybody's really interested in the bad things that I'm doing because they're no worse than what you guys are doing, to be honest. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye. The very thought of you And I forget to do The little old Just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. Stop. Yay. How's that? That was great. That was all right. Yeah, it was.